Next time, how about we do this on the actual moon? We could, but you might need to hold your breath. You could hold it for me. <laughs> Hi, Hunter. We were privately discussing strategy. Emphasis on the privately. They have a bet going as to whether or not you were... What is the phrase Nico taught me? Ah, yes. Moon watch and chill. <laughs> Ghost Rider or not, Robbie is a dead man. Again. I'm gonna wrap Peter in a cocoon and roll him down a few off-world mountains. Everyone's getting a stake with their name on it. Hunter, I'm saying this as a friend. Get lost. Hunter, if you don't get out of here now, I'm gonna stake you. Leaving. Go away. I've been making excuses to people for years, trying to reconcile the great things I've done with the terrible things the other guy has done. But this time I have no excuses. I was the worst monster, not him. Well, 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 look who's poking around Santa's workshop. Don't mind us. We just wanted to make sure you were getting cozy at your new haunted home away from home. I guess this is where the yelling starts. Nobody wants to play the blame game. Correct. We are here to welcome you back, Bruce, not to yell at you. Yeah, and to figure out what we need to do if we're going to face Lilith. Hopefully Bruce has some first-hand knowledge that could help us. Uh, Wanda, I... There's no need for apologies. You're back now. You're home. That's right, feel the feels later. Right now, it looks like Bruce could use a little help. All I have are ideas right now. Lots of ideas. And no clue how to get started. Uh-oh. Doc, know what this means? Could this really be... Oh, you know it. Time to pull an old-fashioned Avengers All-Nighter. Uh, I haven't had one of those since we had to brainstorm ways to smash Ultron sentries a few years back. I remember that. Good times. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to work. I have so many ideas. We just need time and focus to pull them off. Check back with us in the morning. We will have something to share. I take it you've talked to Banner. I have. How do you think he's readjusting? He is already hard at work plotting Lilith's demise. Oh, then he's back to his old self. I still can't believe you and Wanda managed to bring him back. As I said before, this is a major win for us. We have the Hulk back on our side. It seems the tables have finally turned on Lilith. Let us not make the mistake of underestimating her. We might think the tables have turned, but in reality, Lilith could have us right where she wants us. I tend to agree, but I'm giving myself to optimism this time, even if it's the cautious variety. Ah, well, I should probably get back to Agatha. She's been reminding me that it's okay to enjoy the winds when they happen. I suggest you do the same. Feeling good today, girl.
telescope. Finally figured that out, did you? It's green. And I thought the smog in LA was bad. Yeah, I don't think we should be breathing this air. It's gamma radiation. It's fine to breathe, as far as I know. Yes, but it gives the sky quite a beautiful tinge of color, doesn't it? Like the sky before a storm. Anyone want to tell me what I'm looking at? The storm is almost here. And so is the midnight sun. The prophecy is almost complete. Kathan is making his way into our dimension. Not if I have anything to do with it. Let's go inside. We have work to do. Slumbering giant beneath the darkest of holes. Does slumbering giant refer to Banner, Kathan, Wanda, or D, all of the above? Option E, for other. What? After your third or so apocalypse, you never know what's going to come out of left field at the last second. Either way, hell's coming. Hells are always coming, Blade. There's no just one hell anymore. I gotta go check in on Ant-Man and MJ. And maybe the rest of the neighborhood. I don't know, Queens? No, Spider-Man. The more hell we keep focused on us, the less hell there is everywhere else. We're holding Lilith's attention to keep others out of harm's way. We can't split up now. Okay, everyone just said different things to me and I'm not sure which one to respond to. How about we change topics to this? I think it's safe to say that maybe we got this is a safe thing to say. That was a long walk with a lot of caveats. Bravo for that, Nugget, Ghost Rider. Pete, how many times I gotta tell you? Do not sit on the Hell Ride! Hunter, is there any way to... You look cool, calm, and collected, considering the circumstances. Keeping a cool head is kind of my thing, but you know that. I'm telling you, Hunter, I don't know what's coming next, but I do know when the shit hits the fan with Kathan, there's no other place I'd rather be than parked right here with my friends. I would not get too comfortable, Blade. Things are about to hit the fan sooner than you think. More reason to just chill and enjoy the silence while we all still can. Because when the shit gets unreal, we might not have any time left. Both you and Blade seem rather unfazed about the imminent invasion of this dimension by a homicidal Elder God. Oh, this is not the worst Armageddon scenario I've lived through. Just how many have you been through, Carol? You mean the end of this world, or are we talking other planets too? All of the above. Let's put it this way. I lived through a time literally called the Age of Apocalypse. That sounds rather stressful. It was, but there comes a point in every cataclysmic event when you just have to let go and, I don't know, roll with it. All you have to do is be ready to fight for what you care about when the time comes. The only thing I care about is victory over Lilith and Cathan. Nothing else matters. Oh, come on, Hunter. You care about people. I care about some people. Uh-huh. I know, beneath that tough Child of Lilith act, you're just a big softy. I assure you, Carol, I am not soft. There's about a dozen missing Welcome Back Hulk cupcakes that mysteriously disappeared from the kitchen that would all disagree. I would not know about that. <sighs> I guess what I'm trying to say is... Don't worry about what you can't control. You'll face Lilith soon enough. What should I do between now and then? How you spend your possibly last moments on this version of Earth is your choice. I, for one, have always been curious about what's really under the hood of Robbie's ride. And tonight, I'm determined to find out. 
The best way for me to help Aunt May, MJ, everyone back home is to be here. But being here, I just wish I was back with them. They worry about me. But the only way to ensure nobody gets hurt is to throw myself at the big, scary, Lilith-shaped problem. We have curses, Hydra, ancient weapons, friends turned foes. Who needs the complication of a mask? There's a benefit to being resurrected into another time. Everyone gives you a pass on manners. The mask is to protect those I love from harm. My aunt raised me as a weapon to kill my mother. Maybe we just don't see eye to eye on family. It is not easy, Peter. With or without a mask, people worry about us, and we worry about them. Sounds about right. I just wish I could warn them, you know? Something. I'm not even sure demonic horde is the appropriate term. I gotta ask Nico for a refresher on occult terminology. How do you feel about taking down an Elder God? Fleeing in terror isn't an option. I can never show my flame the skull around other spirits' inventions again. And are you prepared for the less desirable scenario where we do not make it? Nope. I'm in complete denial. It's gonna go like this. Save the world, go home, give my brother a big hug, throw a barbecue for the neighborhood. We plan, but gods laugh. Do you not want to say goodbye to your loved ones, just in case? Can't just do that over the phone. So, no goodbyes. And how are you passing the time until our big moment? I tuned the hell ride for the fourth time. I read the last page of all my comics just in case. And, uh, you know, trying to be chill before my head catches fire. Maybe I should do a fifth... I have something for you. Hunter. We should, uh... I should speak with you about what you did to me. Is that an accusation? Of course not. Uh, I am grateful, of course. It has been so long since I've thought for myself. I was so focused on understanding what was happening with the Hulk. That obsession was how I stumbled onto... to her. And by then it was too late. I always thought myself capable of... Well, does it even matter? I made a choice, and the world paid for it. The Hulk is not to blame for once. All this destruction was the work of... Bruce Banner. You cannot confess what is already known. But I had to say it. Think what you want of me, but I will never blame your mother for corrupting me. I need you to know I am responsible. I can respect that, somewhat. I can still sense her, you know. Even though you freed me from her influence, she still resides in my head. How? I removed the stain of Lilith's corruption. My irradiation keeps me attuned to her thoughts and feelings. Not all of them, but enough. At this moment, her excitement grows as the prophecy nears its end. Does the link go both ways? Does your presence threaten the Abbey? The Abbey is open to her, Hunter. She can breach it whenever she desires. That cannot be possible. When Wanda chased you and the others through Limbo, she pierced the Abbey's barrier. That was all Lilith needed to enter. If she has known that long, why not attack the Abbey directly? Haven't you figured it out? She doesn't want to win. Explain your theory. 
I already told you I can, pardon the simplified expression, read her mind. This isn't theory. These are her thoughts. Whatever her plans entail, they involve more than just killing the lot of you. Of, a, uh, of us. <clears throat> uh, Dr. Banner. Please, call me Bruce. Bruce, in all the time I have known you, I realize how little I know about you. Would you mind telling me about yourself? Not at all. My life is an open, irradiated book. May I ask you about the Hulk? Of course. When did you first transform into the Hulk? Years ago, I worked on a device based on Howard Stark's original Gamma Accelerator. There was an accident, and I soaked up so much radiation I should have died on the spot. Instead, it unleashed a green-skinned manifestation of rage from within me. When I came to my senses, I realized what I'd become. I knew I couldn't be around people. To lose control like that? It still terrifies me. Yet, when I become angry or subjected to intense pain, Bruce Banner retreats for the duration. Are you and the Hulk different people, or is he an aspect of your personality? I've heard contradictory conjecture from hundreds of experts. You see, I'm psychologically fascinating. Everyone has a pet theory. At this point, I think of the Hulk as a different person. Yet I also take full responsibility for his actions. It's... Well, it's why I betrayed him so deeply by working with Lilith. I'm supposed to be the responsible one. In a way, I'm his keeper. He doesn't really understand what happened, but... I decided on his behalf, like I always do. And very nearly killed his friends. Does the Hulk have any thoughts about Lilith? He finds her... <clears throat> There's some... Attraction. The Hulk has the hots for my mother? Yes, but he remembers she tried to hurt his friends. That makes him angry. And for the Hulk, anger always wins out. I had questions about the Avengers. Go ahead. What led the Hulk to join the Avengers? The way Tony tells it? They spent so much time stopping the Hulk from destroying cities, they offered him a job so they could keep tabs on him. But really, they need Bruce Banner. Yes, the Hulk is good to have around when Ultron attacks or scrolls invade, but my expertise gives the Avengers a crucial edge. And what is that? I plan ahead, develop contingencies and worst-case scenarios, Solve impossible equations. I'm the only one who thinks it all through. Well, I was. What do you think of your fellow Avengers? Before all this, the Hulk and I respect Steve. Strange is fine, but he can aggravate the Hulk. Carol and I don't see eye to eye about where the Avengers should focus our efforts. Still, we're friends outside of work. Plus, she knows how to make Hulk laugh. And Thor? I always appreciate his grass charm. The Hulk likes him because he doesn't need to pull his punches when they're play fighting. What about Tony? Ah, Tony. He knows full well the Hulk can reduce him to a fine salsa of mist. Yet he constantly pokes and prods. You'd think he was trying to provoke me. But we both respect him for that. He treats us like any other person. He knows what we are, and he's not afraid. Will the Avengers forgive you for what you did? Hmm... Usually I wake up to discover what terrible damage the Hulk has caused. The team always understood and supported me in their way. This... It's a very different situation. You ask if they will forgive me? I don't know if they should. But is it possible? It's possible. But if so, it won't be soon. Nor should it be. Thanks, Bruce. Thank you, Hunter. I... It took me far too long to find my place. 
I'm glad it was, um... I'm glad it was here. Hunter, we need to talk in the Forge immediately. And it was glowing this way when you walked in here? Yes, it's like something flipped it on. As if it's preparing for the Midnight Sun. I think that's precisely what it's doing. It knows its owner is coming back to pick it up, and it wants to look good. Yes, that's an excellent way to put it. I know a thing or two about the magic artifacts, especially if they're swords. So I have observed. Perhaps when we take a breather, you can explain to me exactly how your portal spell works. It appears to be quite effective. You want to talk shop? You got it. But watch yourself. I might end up becoming the Sorcerer Supreme one of these days. I don't feel threatened. In fact, nothing would make me happier. Why, hello? Our time has almost run out, Hunter. If we're ever going to find out what this God Killer can do, Tony and I need to start researching it now. I suppose we are out of other options. We are. Unless you have another plane of existence in your back pocket. All right. Then let us find out what this god killer is all about. Excellent. You know what to do at the anvil. Please get us started, Hunter. Oh, you are gonna love this. Let's get started. Hey, Hunter. Time to work. Time. This is some of my best work. See you, Hunter. A shield saying the green skies are just a normal atmospheric event? This is not an Avengers level threat. I don't remember being consulted on that decision, do you, Steve? After this, I am so done with clandestine quasi-government organizations. Cover up or not, we have to present a united front and follow Fury's play. Yeah, hard pass. We gotta tell the world the truth, or we lose the trust of anyone with a camera or access to social media, which, last I checked, is the population of Earth. Woof, I've been there. Nobody cares about the truth. Nobody believes a primordial god is about to wake up and devour the universe. We believe it. Because you've seen it, Rogers. But I remember calling the Avengers hotline with the same story and getting nowhere. Everyone laughed at me. Well, not everyone. I still haven't heard back from Cloak and Dagger. This is no time to quibble over PR statements and cover-ups. Nico's right. We can contradict S.H.I.E.L.D. and tell the truth, but most people aren't going to buy it. Save the damage control spin for after we banish Cathan. If we banish Cathan. What's up, Ancient One? I'm at a loss, Nanda. Hydra is everywhere right now. People are dying at their hands. Yet Lilith is about to unleash Cathan. Innocent people die while we have to move against the left. Hydra thinks they're so clever. Just imagine if they actually were. They might be in trouble.
Thanks, Hunter. So, the Midnight Sun has arrived. Despite our best efforts, threatening to end the lives of millions. And Cathan is threatening to consume the whole planet, ending even more. Yes, I know. But as Wanda so compassionately pointed out, there are people in desperate need of help out there. Our help. It's my strong opinion we should save as many souls as possible before confronting Lilith. Is that not what Lilith wants us to do? Go running to save civilian lives as she heralds in the Age of Cathan? I know you're eager for your showdown with Lilith, but it's the compassionate thing to do. That is exactly what she is counting on, our compassion. We cannot let her use it against us. If my mother gets her way, there will be nothing alive in this world that is not named Lilith or Cathan. But we might have time before that happens. Look outside, Sarah. Our time is up. As Wanda so generously pointed out, since you are part of the prophecy, Lilith may not be able to complete it without you. So, we do have time, and we must make the best of it. Hydra is everywhere. Where should I go first? That's up to you, but I do want you to bring Banner. He needs to get back out there, get some wins, before our final showdown with Lilith. You trust him that much after what he has done? If Wanda taught me anything, it's that we don't have time for grudges or regrets. I will leave the final decision to you, but you know my opinion. Oh, and Hunter, happy hunting. Don't just stand there. There are lives out there that need saving. How's it going, boss? Uh, nope, you can hear What do you think? Got some upgrades for you, hot off the press, or forge. Don't forget to write. wasting, Hunter. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. An enhanced spell. Most welcome.
we're not quite finished yet? A task for us? So, not my best work, but it'll do. Where do you think I... I'm here if you need me. Let's do this. Try not smash! Practice makes perfect. Maybe you should just hit me up on Superlink when you're ready. Oh, even more incredible! All of the artifacts and equipment Hydra has been absconding with, it was inevitable we'd catch them unloading equipment somewhere. They are set on coming after me. if we're going to recover any of their equipment. It is as good as done.
Liberation. It's remarkable how well Hydra manages to attract new recruits despite decades of ineptitude. Closely. Good one. Secured one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. You've secured one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. Sight. I'll return the favor in kind. Search for wealth and power with just a tinge of fascism. They've armed one of the crates. It's going to explode if you don't get that key.
even for Hydra. the last crate. Wipe out the remaining Hydra forces, and let's get you home. Let's give it a go. Speed to restore our strength! I hope this is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. By the will of the Orc! friend in me. myself. Tactic.
press. That's the spirit. This won't end well. Leave some for the rest of us. No getting up! changed among the world's fanatics. I saw a move like that once. this fight. Watch and learn. Works the Hulk. Shipment Hydra won't be receiving. 